the girls are you doing let's do another pick a card big piece of pick a card but pick a card i mean what <laughs> okay today is gonna be what they're doing and yeah exactly you could ask yourself what is she doing as well man okay so let's do two pal let's develop i quite like developing at the moment i don't know why and then we have a hidden true so we go because this one is absolutely amazing okay let's go one two one two pal number one what are they doing the star shrinks five of cups wow five of cups is coming out quite a bit in readings uh, at the moment well what they're doing is that they have a regret big time they know that they messed it up everything there is down they had a wonderful opportunity with you they messed it up they blew it they have an idea of reconciliation how strongly and how ready they are Mm, maybe not right now i would say because right now what they think is that you are the star and you're extremely strong so the star being a uh, shiny bright balancing your emotion with the jar of water when you have liquid and water in tarot is all about emotions um metamorphic technique as well but anyhow um the thing is uh, is an idea of um seeing you shining bright finding your strengths finding your your path and because you are in tune with yourself you know just things seem to be flourishing for you. you you make it look easy it might not be or every day easy but you make it look like tranquil so you as a result of what happened you became stronger and stronger maybe not straight away maybe when you find out the truth that really hurt you your heart was broken it probably was um, but you know what you cry the tears and then you move forward okay and you become stronger than ever they should know that by you because it's not the first time in my opinion you went down because i think when you give your love or your friendship you give it 100 percent, and when you get hurt you get hurt 100 percent. but you recover you recover and that's why you always become stronger at every single time right let's have more information okay so yeah what they're doing is they're procrastinating yes because that's why i was telling you how ready are they to go for the you know reconciliation in my opinion they're still looking at what happened and thinking maybe in disbelief how did that happen you know what i mean they're still kind of like uh accepting the idea that maybe they will never see you again because you're taking off, you know what I'm saying? You're taking off and saying, <laughs> with a fortune, yeah. Good luck is on your side. And I mean that, I mean, good luck, we know the definition of good luck is preparation meeting opportunity. It doesn't just happen. No, it's never random. You prepare yourself, you work on yourself, you work really, really hard. And at the end of the day, what you have, that's it, an opportunity either to really find your voice find your path find your passion find your truth or find someone else and maybe you moving on or you realizing actually i'm better without you i don't actually miss you that much because maybe you were not really in touch anymore for some reason mm, a lot of truth is coming out maybe they found out or you found out the truth and they found out and you found out ah not pretty they thought they were going to cover everything but it was like a pressure cook eventually it was going to happen and now you look back and you realize oh so that makes sense oh now i understand why this happened and oh my god i get it now now you put all the the, the kind of little dot together and you you realize oh my goodness absolutely now it makes sense now you can see how was i so blind and now you realize a lot but they were very keen on sh not showing the truth putting some kind of mask the moon if it's not a full moon well it doesn't bring so much light when it's a full moon yes but if it's cloudy what are you gonna see so it was a lot of clouds around you couldn't see the truth oh now you now you see so they know now they've been found out hmm yeah so now if you don't need to do anything you're in a position of covering your heart and contemplating i like to use the analogy of when you are at the cinema you have your popcorn or your drink or ice cream whatever you want naughty 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 and you're watching the movie you don't need to do anything else you don't need to engage with the movie the ending is going to happen regardless of your interaction or not that's it so you are watching and contemplating what is in display because now everything is in display because now 
the truth is out. So interesting. And you see how uh, maybe other people or their friends react towards you now. Did they choose a side? They don't, maybe they don't know which side to choose because they're like, oh man, um, exactly, interesting. So you just contemplate, you don't take action. Mm. Someone is down, yeah, there's no you. You're shining bright, you're too busy shining bright and finding your path and, and feeding yourself with what's happened. Because what you learn fed your um, deeper understanding of yourself and deeper understand of the world. And so they have to contemplate where they blew it. They blown it. They absolutely blown it. They, they've made a big mistake. Massive. Okay. So yes, they would like eventually to come towards you. Maybe, maybe that's just in a while. You know, I'm not thinking that it will happen anytime soon. Uh, we have an S of swords, so clarity and speed. Yes, of course. But the thing is, in my opinion, they left it too late already. They've been procrastinating because maybe their ego was hurt. They didn't want to be seen that way, but now uh, they are seen for who they truly are. And that's my point. I think they navigate for a long time socially, you know, trying to make people believe who they were. But this event particularly showed their true face to the world. Anyhow, you know, you better without them. Actually, here we go. I want to tell you how I feel. Yeah, well, you don't particularly care how they feel. I'm sorry to be brutally honest. But no, because you don't care anymore. You moved on. And they, they, feel, they feel the need to tell you how they feel. Well, the key question should be, how do you feel? They should forget themselves a little bit for a while. But maybe because they are the healers or they kind of, you know, they are there saying the world what to do, but don't put in practice what they preach. That may be a bit more difficult, but it's all about them. As you can see, narcissists. So they're not ready yet. That's what I'm saying to you. We are not there yet. Oh my goodness. Oh no. <laughs> I'm telling you, no. Okay. So part number two, what are they doing? Yeah, this way. <laughs> the world. Eight of ones. Temperance one. Now that's a different vibe. I is a different vibe indeed. Someone uh, is getting ready to communicate with you. Very honest, very straight to the point and keep talking. They have a lot to say. Maybe now they want to enter a new chapter with you. They think the world of you. In no ways they want you to disappear from their life. Mm, because they don't have as, as much ego as the pan number one in my opinion. So the thing is they want to balance, balance themselves, balance the situation between you two. And also go piano, piano, one step at a time. Hmm? That's it. But they move forward. You see, the completely different vibe from pile number one. Hell yes. All right, here we go. Yes. Maybe you started as a bit of a blah, 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 but now you are a soulmate. And let's not be bothered with a label. It means simply that you are much stronger than you thought. The attraction you have, uh, it's not just physical. There's something as well that is just like, hmm, is unique here. It's something very special and you recognize it. So forget about the label, okay? Yeah, you will see the fruit of your labor. Maybe that person wants to contribute and help you shine bright because you've been working really hard, really hard. And now it seems that everything is coming together. Now you maybe see yourself uh, full of potential, full of light. You've been through a lot, but you kept walking keep pushing every single day and now look at you who's a daddy now right mm. the thing is they want to help you they want to feed that energy for you it's very different than part number one mm. yeah they want to contribute to your success yeah because at the end of the day they've done their own homework they've done <laughs> exactly that and that is a big introspection in depth so they realize what they have to leave behind. And that's what you did yourself. Maybe you're still letting go of some people or an old team of people you used to hang around with. And now you just don't, don't feel them. And maybe you were not feeling them for, for a while, but you couldn't put your finger on it. And now you liberate yourself from that dead weight with the help of that person probably. Because they've done the same work. They know I want to better myself. Here we go. Absolutely. And that's how you receive the fruit of your label. Of course. Of course. Knight of Pentacolia it could have taken quite a while. It's true. But those things take a while. You know, maybe money is coming in. Maybe you accept your creativity. You're embracing it again. You want to 
do something that will leave a legacy behind you, make a bit of a difference, trying to help people, do something, make a difference. And they want to encourage you. They want, you know, all about the pentacle is about longevity here. It's not about particularly the money, but the money could also be there. I mean, of course, we don't have a problem with money. But the thing is, is you want to make a difference in this world. Yeah, you do not want to carry other people. No, you put your oxygen mask on you first and you learn that the hard way. Yeah, but now that's it. There is, a, there, there was an idea of um, maybe you grew up in an environment where people were saying, well, you have to do this, you have to do that. You never had a moment for yourself just to find your, your own peace or to find your own um, little world, you know, inner world. You had to always be there, pleasing them, helping them, supporting them, always. So then you grew up doing the same thing. Now you realize, no, mm -mm, I put the oxygen mask on me first. But it took a while, but that's how you find out your own strengths. Of course, you know, it wasn't easy. Mm -hmm, yeah. So there is a choice to make. Again, more pentacle. Do you want to stick around with some people who are always doing the same thing? Or do you want to maybe do things a bit differently? So your person has to adjust to that new reality because you taking off and you make some decision, you make some changes. Maybe they're still here. I think you have someone who wants to support you for sure. Someone who understands you and wants to actually push you forward and make you believe in you even more. But you still have those little energy lingering. And I think that is the one that you actually want to get rid of. That's it. And that goes very well with this one as well. Find all the cards. Here we go. You're letting go. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> George is very much here. And you can see on that card too. You're letting go of people who are fake, as simple as that. And you know too well that it ain't going to work. So what they're doing, maybe they're trying to have a piece of the light because you emerging even stronger than ever. And now you're going to receive the fruit of your labor. So all the hard work is coming back to you, but multiplied. Boom, here we go. Ten of pentacles, you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. They want a piece of the cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you now have been finding your own voice, for your own truth, on your own. And now you're ready to receive. I'm telling you, nine of pentacles and ten of pentacles, who's a daddy now, right? Mm. And they want a piece of the maybe pentacle. Oh, they, they won't have any of that. <laughs> Let's get that straight. I'm out of it, right? Not happening at all. But it's your time to accept that you're worth it as well. It's a long journey for you to let go of ideas that was uh, really dead energies it took you a long time to detach yourself from this dynamic that you learned from childhood in my opinion and now you're just working for yourself and now you're doing you and because you're doing you university bravo continue we're supporting you and you bring the universe brings to you people as well that will be uh, supportive of you because you change your dynamic within your head Mm, and maybe you say goodbye to some people because they were keeping you low vibration. See what I'm saying? Finding out the truth crushed me. You bet. Because now, you're the daddy. You are absolutely splendid. And that crushed them because we all the little two-faced kind of things. They didn't manage to do themselves. You do you. That's why he is working. That's why you are successful. Or well, that's why you are peace. That's why you so... Uh, you know, splendid, because you're tranquil, you're serene, and they're not, and they're far from it. On this note, have a beautiful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao.